And I'd like to ask your permission. Can we have a party tonight? Is it okay to have a party tonight? Heat President Pat Riley taking a not so veiled partying shot at all the controversy surrounding the team's ridiculed Big Three celebration two summers ago. The real party was underway and it was going to be epic. So we're partying tonight at? Everywhere. Everywhere. I'll tell you one thing, I ain't driving. After the champagne-soaked celebration at the AAA, Heat players arriving at the glitzy Live Nightclub at the Fountain Blue on Miami Beach to party South Florida style. Thank you. Thank you. Feeling great. Feeling great. You know, no better feeling than this right now. You know, world champs. We're told the last of the world champs to arrive, Chris Bosh, at 4.30 in the morning. But he still had time to pose for this picture-perfect Big Three moment. The snapshots from WorldRedEye.com inside Live tell the tale of a post-title town takeover. Note the no sleep graphic on D Wade's shirt. And who needs sleep when you're locking lips with actress girlfriend Gabrielle Union? LeBron letting loose with a heat air blaster. Even Heat owner Mickey Arison getting in on the action, jamming with DJ Irie. This is what a championship celebration looks like. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Heat forward Shane Battier posting this video of the madness. went late into the early morning hours with a surprise performance by the electro pop group LMFAO featuring LeBron James. Inside the club it was an electric atmosphere. Oh and by the way Club Live happens to be where the Dallas Mavericks partied the night away after beating the Heat on their home court in last year's finals. Coincidence? Probably not. As for the architect of the big three, Pat Riley opting for a more relaxed celebration, spending his night at the five-star South Beach restaurant, Prime 112. I'm not really sure what he ordered. I sent him over a bottle of champagne to congratulate him. Uh, Pat's very superstitious. I've tried in the past, but he will not do it until the finals, until he has a championship. Since even every party must make way for eventual sleep, this tweet from Chris Bosch's wife, Adrienne, quote, Okay, now bedtime, when your dreams become reality. And we wrap the party with a picture from an owner whose basketball dreams have become reality. Twice, Mickey Arison sitting alone under a banner reading, weather update, no thunder due to heat rising. That's a good thing. Word on the street is, there's a parade planned. Executive. If LeBron James didn't silence the haters with his performance in Game 5 to help the Heat win the franchise's second ever championship, nothing will. James finally has a title. It's everything and, and, and more. I dreamed about this opportunity and this moment for a long time, including last night, including today. You know, my dream has become a reality now, and it's uh, you know, the best film I've had. The reigning MVP had a triple-double, 26 points, 11 rebounds, and 13 assists. James answered his critics all through the playoffs and now has a championship to keep them quiet for good. I know what he's went through, you know, to get to this point. And I know when we got together, a lot of people didn't agree with it. But me and him did. <laughs> me and him wanted it. Uh, we wanted to play together because we knew we could help each other both get what we want and that's to become a champion once again. His will to win, I mean, it's been incredible. I mean, just the playoff run that he's had, I'm just really, uh, I'm really proud to call myself uh, a teammate of his, and it's just been unbelievable to witness. When you were hugging Braun at the end, the two of you were embracing a smile, what were you saying to each other? Yeah, you know, probably, we've been as, through as much as anybody. You know, we're lightning rods uh, out there. Uh, so we're connected, uh, and uh, you know, I told him I loved him and was proud of him. You know, he, he deserves this as much as any player I've been around. I know LeBron's a great player, and I know they appreciated what they brought to the, each one brought to the table. I knew it all season long. All the crap that was being said out there was just that. King James' crowning achievement was becoming only the fifth player in NBA history to record a triple-double in a title-clinching game. I'm just happy that I was able to be put back in this position. I just got back to just being, uh, you know, myself. You know, I didn't care too much about what anyone said about me. <clears throat> 
you know, I just, you know, just kind of make my own path and um, do it the right way. And, uh, you know, I'm happy I was able to do it the right way and do it, because, you know, for myself and not for anyone else. There's no disrespect, so when I bust my rhyme, you break your neck. Miami, are you ready to celebrate like we did in 2006? Well, the championship parade is all set for Monday at 11 a.m. Let's get right to the map. The parade will begin near Southwest 8th Street and 2nd Avenue, up Brickell Avenue, and then go up to Biscayne Boulevard. It is different than the 2006 route. 2006, we went down Biscayne and looped around by the Intercontinental and came back. And what that resulted in is people that were on one side of the street when they knew we were coming back around, they, they just rushed, bum rushed the barricades and came across, and we don't want that. There is another major difference. At 12.30, the parade will end, and there will be no viewing of a private celebration on the screens outside the arena. Anytime you have a large area of assembly, you have safety-related issues. So this is an effort to spread that crowd out and keep it more under control. From 12.30 to 1.30, there'll be a private celebration with Heat players inside the arena for season ticket holders. They will be sent an email link and they just log on to get their tickets. It is something that our season ticket holders are very used to because we've been doing pre-sales during playoffs. This year, you'll get a good look at the players. They'll be riding in double-decker buses. Instead of some flatbed trucks that we kind of made in 2006, that's another uh, learn uh, best practice that we've come away with. So the parade route is longer than 2006, and the public will be able to really experience this heat championship. Obvious changes from 2006, but one thing remains the same. Miami, you are savoring the victory. What a party it was inside the locker room after your Miami Heat beat the Thunder 121 to 106 in game five to win the NBA championship. The second ever title for the franchise. Even President Obama called head coach Eric Spolstra from Air Force One last night to congratulate him on the team's championship win. Steve Shapiro has more on Coach Spo, who silenced the critics. If not lost, at least obscured by the big three he coached to an NBA championship, Eric Spolstra last night got his. For us to be on this journey for two years, to sacrifice the way we did, uh, and then finally climb the mountain, it's incredible. He was doubted for not winning it all last year and maligned after falling behind 3-2 to Boston in the conference finals. Pat Riley acknowledged Eric Spolstra was the right man to replace himself. You know, Spo is, is a great, great young coach, and he's got the respect of these guys, and now I hope he gets the respect of everybody that's judging him. Spolstra took over for Riley in 2008, made the playoffs in each of his four seasons, twice to the conference finals. Spo's a great coach. He works his ass off. He's been loyal to this organization from day one, and he has done a tremendous job. Even Captain Dwayne Wade, who gave him a very public TV blow-off during a playoff game, gave Spo his just rewards. One thing he never let us do this year, and um, you know we always say it, but he never let us feel like we was better than what we was, even last season. And he never feel like, and he never made us feel like we was better than what we was. At 41, and with two years left on his contract, looking ahead to next year. Eric will try and become just the eighth coach to win back to back. This little semicircle we're in right now. <laughs> right? Didn't we yes. say that? Yes. 25 years from now, yes. we're going to be coming back together Speech. in the semicircle and talking about this journey. Steve Shapiro, Seven Sports. All right, Steve, did you hear any sound of thunder in South Florida last night? Nope. Silence. Big time. Well, the thunder arrived back home in OK City today. It really was a great run for Oklahoma City through the Western Conference playoffs. Game five, though, ended their hopes of keeping the series alive. Now it's just time to move on. It just hurts to go out like this, you know. And we, we made it, you know, to the finals, which was which was cool for us. But we, you know, we, we didn't want to just make it there. Unfortunately, we lost. So it, it's tough. It's tough, man. That's all. I, that's the only way I can explain it.